to another tutorial from the DIY Golfer. I'm Zach and I'll be teaching you today how to save a golf grip. Let me start with the materials. First I have this tool which I bought off of Golfworks and I'll be sure to link to this. This was I think it was around $18 maybe $19-$20 um, which compared to their other grip saver which is $64 I believe it's quite a good deal and in my opinion it's the cheapest best way to save a golf grip I've seen plenty of tutorials on how to use a tire uh, air compressor to save golf grips but I just haven't had consistent results with that kind of method because sometimes the grips will be stubborn and and the air compressor will just completely blow them up and even putting a a tube over the grip doesn't help that much so in my opinion this is the best way to save a golf grip and I'm going to show you how to do it so to do this you'll need this tool and uh, what I use is mineral spirits but you can also use any grip solvent that you um, bought off of golf works or at a golf store any of that works also uh, I know lighter fluid does the job well there's plenty of ways that you can, plenty of uh, materials you can use for this, but this is what I use. And to start off, I need to get this tool under the grip and get a starting point. All right. So as you can see, I got the the tool kind of set in the grip, and now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of mineral spirits and kind of float it down into the into the grip. Not much, just enough, and I'll just keep working that up the grip and it, it'll slide just a few few inches every time you put the solvent in. Sometimes you have to work it back and forth to kind of loosen it up. I like to kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit, spin it around the whole grip. As you can see, I've got it all the way around this end part now, and so this is completely loose. This will let me get a little bit farther down. Okay, finally gotten to the point where the entire grip is loose all the way around. As you can see, I can twist this. So now all I have to do is just kind of twist it and pull at the same time. And then once, once you get it about halfway off, you can go ahead and stick this tool in here again. Put in a little solvent, and go ahead and pull it off. And there you go, save the grip.